All my life, I've been running around these few blocks. Why do I keep coming back here? Why do I keep landing here? When I was 16, I got pregnant. I was not only doing pills, I was drinking and smoking and driving. And eventually I signed over the rights to my oldest daughter, to my parents. It didn't matter to me how I had to numb that pain. I didn't even care if I lived. It was just a downward spiral. I went back to not only drinking and drugging, but then I started selling too. And then I got caught up in a raid. I was incarcerated for 15 months, and when I got out, I had nowhere to go. City Rescue said they'd take me, and I'm like, I'm there, I'm there. Four and a half years, I'm still there. City Rescue Mission is that beacon of light for anyone who needs help. And that's the role that we are. We're there to bring light into darkness. Our founders believed that you could change somebody's life by showing them the love of Christ and through your actions. And that has remained consistent throughout the entire 60 years. Our clients receive transformation because we introduce them to Christ through our actions. I had a friend that I just didn't know that well back in 1990. She called me up and wanted to know if I would be interested in, in being involved with the City Rescue Commission and perhaps being on the board. I had never even heard of it. I'd never seen it. And she said, why don't you come in and go to a board meeting with me and you tour the mission? And it just kind of touched my heart. And I liked the uh, fact that they were really helping people that were just so down and out. They made me feel like I had hope. They gave me the hope that I'd been looking for for 55 years. They assigned me the kitchen. I just started cooking, then I started supervising, and then I started teaching. We serve anywhere from 700 to maybe 1,100 meals a day seven days a week. Our ovens, our equipment has served about 6.8 million meals. Our kitchen is going to be designed so that it is a culinary program where our clients are learning a skill that they can take out, an employable skill that they can take out and earn a sustainable wage. The kitchen is, it's not just a kitchen, it's going to be a great place for our clients to to learn and to grow and possibly have a, somewhere to go when they leave the mission. The ladies at Hearts of Hope have just been so generous. They've provided over half of the funds that we need to, to complete this project. City Rescue is more than a mission or a soup kitchen, you know. It brings people together in hope because of the faith the city rescue had in me, I'm gonna make it. And my children and myself are not the only ones worth saving. I never had a life, really. I lived and I existed, but because of people at city rescue, now I'm living, now I'm living, and I think it's wonderful.